There we go. That's what it look like when you hit somebody with the goodness. What is good, y'all? I already know y'all ready for some more Ruby. And I got it for y'all. Today, we are checking out Volume 2, Chapter 9, Search and Destroy. Now, in the last one, before we get into it, in the last one, Ruby kind of had to talk to the higher-ups about the sender infiltration thing. And she wasn't in any trouble. She just kind of had to let them know what she found out. And she gave Ozpin a little tip that paid off afterwards because they had to do work studies with professional hunters and huntresses. And Ozpin, you know, the tip that he got from her he kind of like boomeranged it back and let them go on a mission they weren't really supposed to be on. And it ended with them finding out about their, I guess, hunter that they're supposed to be working with. And look, I know he don't look like much, but to me, I think he got that dog in him. I can't wait to see him in action. Now, if y'all enjoy this, um, we're going to find some ways to support the Rooster team. If In best way, if y'all have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. And if y'all enjoy my reaction, hit your boy with the goodness. That's like, comment, subscribe, share. Lock it in by hitting the bell. That is the goodness. Hit me with it. And let's get into it. <clears throat> okay, the recording has started. Let's get into it. I'm just observing. Now I'm trying to figure out, do, did the Ruby team's mentor show up in the intro? But I don't think so. I might've missed him. I might've missed him. I'm not gonna lie. Professor Ooplek? Yes, I'm afraid those bags won't be necessary, girls. Seeing as you've opted to shadow a huntsman on what is now essentially a reconnaissance mission, I can assure you we will not be establishing a single base of operations. Rather, we will be traversing several miles of hazardous wasteland and making camp in any defendable locations we may stumble upon. I've packed all of our essentials myself, for the air course, and ready the airship. And it's Dr. Ublick. I didn't earn the PhD for fun. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, put some respect on his name. Now, children, that boy is concise. Three minutes behind. Schedule. Well, hey, quick! Looks like we're going to save the world. Wait, Skedaddle is his middle name. Say it out loud, it sounds worse. Save the world? You're going on world saving missions without us? I'm heart sad! Maybe a little hungry? That last one's not your fault, though. Ren. True. Sounds exciting. Where are you going? Oh, just outside the kingdom. Hey, so are we. Ren and Nora wanted to shadow the sheriff of a nearby village. We set out tomorrow. Then you can party with us tonight. We're shadowing a crime specialist. All inner city detective stuff. We get junior badges. Oh. Mm. We normally go to the city with you guys, which means stuff's always exploding in junk. So we thought this might be a better way to check out the kingdom when it's, you know. That's, that's kind of messed up. That things are always exploding when they with y'all. But hey, that's, that's the main character energy. But everyone kind of got some solid like uh, work studies. No, I like it. Normal. Y'all got it, bro. I wouldn't stand that close to the edge. I as much of a fighter. I admit I fancy myself more of an intellectual, but I can assure you, as a huntsman, I've had my fair share of tussles. Like the mushroom? Yeah. Those are truffles. Like the sprout? Those are Brussels. Besides, given my expertise <laughs> in the field of history as well as my dabblings in the archaeological surveys, our dear headmaster saw it fit to assign me to this particular assignment. What does history have to do with this? <clears throat> Why, what a preposterous question, you silly girl. Why, history is the backbone of our very society and the liver. And probably the kidneys, if I were to wager. And that means. So everything? The quadrant outside of Vale is home to wild forests and deep caves. But it is also the location to one of the kingdom's greatest failures. Mountain Glen. That's right. It was an expansion of Vale. 
But in the end, it was overrun by Grimm and fenced off from the rest of the city. Correct! And now it stands abandoned. It's a dark reminder. And a likely place for a hideout. Precisely. Yeah. I don't know why I thought it'd be more like a medieval fortress or something. I forget that we are, this is a futuristic magical world. It, it is just kind of like a city, a small town. <clears throat> what you sipping on? Is it coffee? Is it like pre-workout? What is it? Ladies. T? Got to be T. As of this moment, your first mission as Huntress has begun. From this point forward, you need to do exactly as I say. Do you understand? Ruby, I thought I told you to leave all your bags back at school. But uh, you hadn't told us to listen to you yet. Hmm. She's not wrong. <laughs> Very well, Ruby. Leave your Good logic. Pick it up upon our return. But I, well. Young lady, what in the world could you possibly have in that bag that could be so important to bring it with you? <laughs> We're here to investigate an abandoned urban jungle teeming with death and hostility, and you brought a dog. I, uh, it could be useful. Canines are historically known for the perceptive nose and heightened sense of sound, making them I vibe with him. I'm vibing with him. He's 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 becoming top five characters, bro. I'm, I'm vibing with him. I'm a genius. So, what are your orders, Doctor? Ah, yes, straight to the chase. I like it. As you've been informed, the southeast area has been marked as a recent hotspot for grim activity. Now, there are several possible explanations for this behavior, one of which being grim. Just so y'all know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I said it, but just so y'all know, my top five right now, I think I can get it. Yang, Ruby, John, Hira, how am I forgetting anyone? And I think the professor, oh, the do uh, doctor here. I think that's my five right now. Uh, <clears throat> what? Grim, a creature of Grim, approximately 100 yards from us at this very moment. What? Just chilling. Huh? A third. Reasons why Grim would congregate in this particular area. The most likely which would be their attraction to negativity. Sadness, envy, loneliness, hatred. All qualities that are likely held by our hidden group hovering ill intent. So, what now? We wait. We track. If this specimen leads us to its pack, that pack may subsequently lead us to our prey. How long do we wait? It's uncertain. Hours, days, weeks. Why, Lone Grin have been known to stay isolated from the pack for months, and there's the whole pack. Yep. That was easy. And now they've seen us. What? And now they've seen us. Are you out of the question? An accurate assumption? Yes. What's the plan then? Fox. <laughs> Take up your weapons. Let's get let's get down. Cover your ears, why? Mmm, <laughs> there we go. That's what it look like when you hit somebody with the goodness. That's no pain. Mm. Keep the Glock on the string. Mm. Ooh. Oh, it's a lot of them. Oh, she letting it sing, though. Yeah, you go ahead and burn off some energy, too. No, oh, man. No. Piece of cake. Do not celebrate yet. For I am certain this is the first bout of many. Shall we continue? Yeah. Y'all don't brought the guitar in. What's going on? Excellent work, girls. Oh, y'all just dropping them. There doesn't seem to be any signs of criminal operations in this sector. Oh well, moving on. Hey, Doc. 
Doc, you know, I was actually looking forward to seeing a pro huntsman in action. Like, fighting, or at least helping us fight? Oh, but I am in action, scouring the ruins of this one great city for any signs of irregularity. Not every mission is filled with daring and heroism, girls. Sometimes it's just a heightened form of extermination. Don't underestimate him. This is a job, and you all signed up for it. I do hope you understand that. Well, yeah. Uh, of course. Hmm. Tell me, Yang. Why did you choose this line of work? Huh? Well, to fight monsters and save... Oh, that is what you do. Yeah. I want to know why you do it. The honest reason as to why you want to be a huntress. The honest reason? I'm a thrill seeker. I want to travel around the world and get wrapped up in as many crazy adventures as I can. And if I help people along the way, then that's even better. It's a win-win, you know? I mean, that's part of the truth. We know the whole truth. But we'll, we'll look, that's a good cover. I see. And you, Miss Sneed, a girl born into fame and fortune such as yourself certainly doesn't need the extra work. So, why choose this over a cushy job in Atlas? It's exactly as you said. I'm a Schneed. I have a legacy of honor to uphold. Once I realized I was capable of fighting, there was no longer a question of what I would do with my life. It was my duty. Interesting. That's cold. That's cold. And what about you, Blake? You seem to carry yourself with a sense of purpose. There's too much wrong in this world to just stand by and do nothing. Inequality, corruption, someone has to stop it. Very well. How? They're, all of them were so noble. Uh, it was a thrill seeker. I mess with that. Sorry. Uh, are we ready to keep going? No, I believe that will have to do for today. It's going to be dark soon. You three, set up camp in that building. I was say, who did he hit? Do make sure that there are no more of those creatures. Your leader and I are going to secure the perimeter. Come, Ruby. Oh, what is that? It looks awesome. That, my dear girl, is a grin. I need. I, I'm sorry, cause I'm, I know y'all thinking where you, what it is, what is it? But I really, I had a name for them. I just want to see. It's something else. Oh, so I got I got the engine for a elephant, which is a car engine situation, and a, the Zoids, um, elephant Zoid mixed up but yeah that's that's immediately that the elephant zoid is what came to mind but elephant the car part or the car engine slash car make it's a whole thing got mixed up in my head but elephant would be a hard name for them <clears throat> let's kill it <laughs> i'm afraid your sniper rifle will do nothing more than agitate a grim of that size but what if it attacks us fret not ruby those goliaths are not concerned with us Ruby, not every Grim is mindless. Or rather, not every Grim is still mindless. You see, the Grim you see before you are so powerful, so superior to the Grim you fought, that they've undoubtedly lived hundreds of years. And in that time, between killing humans and attacking our borders, they've done one important thing. They've learned. They've learned that when they attack our borders, they're likely to die. And what we lack in strength, we make up for in will. And numbers. Killing one human will only bring more. And why are they still so close to the city? What are they doing? Wait. Elephander, that's what it is. In Zoids. Dr. Ublek? Mm hmm? I was wondering, 
Wondering why I've been interrogating your teammates all day? Uh, actually, I was wondering... Why did you want to become a huntsman? Look around and tell me what you see. Lots of old buildings, uh, empty streets... I see lives that could have been saved. As a huntsman, it is my job to protect the people. And although I am capable of doing it with traditional weaponry, I believe I can make a much larger impact if I do it with my mind. As a teacher, I'm able to take knowledge, the most powerful weapon of them all, and place it into the hands of every student that passes through my classroom. I look at this wasteland and I see lives that could have been saved. But I also see an opportunity. An opportunity to study... Learn from the past. ...and learn from this tragedy. And therefore become stronger. I am a huntsman, Ruby. Because there is nothing else in this world I would rather be. <clears throat> I will become a hunter. And my reason for doing so would be to find my dad, Jing Freaks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to. I, can't I had to. Anything. We've always been fortunate enough to be in the right place at the right time. I guess we can't always have luck on our side. That's not what I meant. Huh? Earlier. About upholding the legacy. There's more to it than that. Yeah. No, me too. I mean, I don't know. I don't know either. I know what I want to do, but... I figured I'd always take things one step at a time. Well, it doesn't matter. We know why we're here. Right? Ah, oh, wonderful! A textbook campfire! Fire! Pull up! So warm. Very good. Eat your dinners and hurry to bed. We have a lot of ground to cover tomorrow, and we'll need you to take turns keeping watch over our temporary abode. Any volunteers for first watch? Yo. Yo. Hey, did Ublik ask you why you wanted to be a huntress? I mean, what did you tell him? Hmm. No, he didn't. Weird. Oh well, good night, guys. I've been waiting on him to ask her. I hope so. Oh, it is a bail wolf. Okay. I caught it. I love when I catch him like this. All right. So I like that he has them thinking. Sometimes you need to look within yourself to reassure yourself. Are, are you on the right path? Because I ain't going to lie. When I went to college, I wish somebody would have really asked me that question, bro. Because I, I ain't going to lie. I went to the co college for the wrong thing. But, I mean, it worked out in the end. That's all I will say. But yeah, sometimes you got to ask, why do you want, why, why are you doing this? Like, do you genuinely enjoy what you're doing? And for anybody who's on the younger side watching this, maybe high school, middle school, whatever age, always ask yourself that question, bro, because a lot of decisions you make in life are kind of going to, I would say a lot of decisions will direct your life in a certain path. And if you change it, if you were to make an opposite decision, it could go a completely different way. That's all I will say. So I like that he's gotten them thinking about this. But the only drawback is if they think too hard on it. You know what I mean? Because, like, right now, they're all laying awake. And, they're I mean, yeah, you're resting, laying down, but they kind of need to be sleeping, like getting some good rest, but their mind is racing and, who knows how the next episode is gonna go.
But I also want to see him in action. All right. I see you. You're fast. You're quick. You're speedy. I, now, that might just be kind of a character thing, just kind of a quirky thing. But also, I feel like he really, like, I think one of the fastest characters we've seen in the show, or the fastest that we've seen, is Ruby. And I think he'll outpace her, bro. Just how he's been moving around, he would outpace her. But you never know. And then I like the idea that gr not all Grimm are immediately hostile. Like, I feel like the elephant Grimm, you have to pick a fight with them for them to fight back. Because like he said, they've gotten smart enough to understand if I kill them, it's going to bring a whole lot of problems I don't want. I like that. And the fact that they're elephant too, you know, elephants have great memories, but they're also smart. And they're smart to a scary extent. Y'all remember, I don't know if the story was actually true or not, but the woman who did something to an elephant, and then when she, like, the elephant pretty much held a grudge all the way to after she died, like, I think it killed her, and then pulled up on her funeral and wrecked her funeral, all of that. Same kind of, you know, same correlation. That's what I'm seeing here. But that's, that's again, that's the beauty of this show. They're... They have made a premise because, you know, the Beowulf, um, the scorpions, the boar, the bird, they all just immediately are like wanting to smoke, want the action, want to get active. But those are more docile. And I believe then they say Grim feed off of negative emotions, right? So I wonder how those giant elephant Grim kind of live. I don't know. It's it's something kind of something. Just think about. That's what I'm thinking about, right? I know I could probably do some research or something and find these answers, but I feel like in doing so, I would also spoil myself. So I'm a chill. But if y'all have enjoyed watching with your boy today, because we gonna we getting all the way through this series. If y'all have been enjoying watching with me, please do not forget hit, to hit me with the goodness. That's like, comment, subscribe, share. Lock it in by hitting the bell. That is the goodness. It's kind of off screen. Hit me with it. And then keep an eye out for the latest developments with Ruby. Who buys it? Where does it go? Season uh, 10, I believe. Season 9 or 10. I, 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 I'm, I'm not caught up all the way, so I'm not exactly sure. But as it develops, you know, the goodness will go to whoever picks it up. But with that being said, this be your boy Reggie Wolf. I am signing out. Peace.